Hi everyone, welcome to the session. In this session, I am continuing a pie chart data interpretation. First of all, uh, you need to read the information carefully. After that, you need to solve the questions based on the given information. First of all, uh, study the following pie chart carefully and answer the questions given below. Here the information is about uh, total expenditure. Total expenditure, that value is given. What is the total expenditure? 60 lakhs. That particular total expenditure on what? That is given. Expenditure of funds by university for various purposes. Here this complete information is about total expenditure of funds by university for various purposes. For different different purposes, the uh, universities, universities uh, spending some amount, uh, some funds. Uh, once look at the purposes on which, uh, on which areas university is uh, spending the money. See, first one is uh, research work. For research work, eight percentage. Psychology, uh, psychology laboratory, ten percentage. Computer laboratory, eighteen percentage. Uh, sports, twelve percentage. Uh, purchase of books for library. 6% publication of journals 15% and uh, purchase of overhead projectors uh, for PhD classes that is 24% and medical facility for students that is 7% these are the various uh, areas in which the university is spending money for entire money is uh, entire expenditure is uh, 60 lakhs for different different purposes, uh, the university is uh, spending all these values, all these amounts, uh, 60 percentage, uh, 60 lakhs to all the various works. Based on that, you need to solve the questions. It is not a difficult task to solve the questions. It is very easy. Once look at the first question, what is the difference between the expenditure made by the university for Publication of generals and psychology laborator. Here we need to calculate the difference between publication of generals. What is publication of generals? Publication of generals is 15 percentage. Publication of generals which is 15 percentage. Whereas uh, now uh, psychology laborator. Psychology laborator which is 10 percentage. Psychology laborator which is 10 percentage. Now the question what he is asking is difference between those two values. What is the difference between those two? 15 percentage minus 10 percentage. 15, 15 minus 10 that is 5 percentage. What is 5 percentage of total expenditure? Here 5 percentage of total expenditure. Total expenditure is 60 lakhs. Total expenditure is 60 lakhs. Once look at the options. Each and every option is given in terms of lakhs. So, don't worry about this particular lakhs. We don't want to write this lakhs as uh, in uh, 1 followed by 5 zeros. Not required. Answer will must, uh, we'll get the answer in uh, lakhs only. See here. 1 zero, 1 zero cancel. And this one is 5 six zero. Uh, or else you can do one thing, uh, 5 1s are 5 2s uh, are 2 1s are uh, 2 3 times. Uh, therefore, the required difference is uh, 3 lakhs. The required difference is uh, 3 lakhs. Uh, that is the required answer, uh, which is the difference between publication of generals and psychology laboratory. Option B is the right answer for this question. Option B. Let us look at the second question. What is the respect to ratio between the expenditure made by university? Here we need to calculate the ratio. Ratio between what? Expenditure made by university on research work and purchase of books for laboratory. What is research work percentage? 8 percentage. And second one, purchase of books for library. Purchase of books for library which is 6 percentage. When you are calculating these kind of values directly when you are calculating the ratio especially when you are calculating the ratio there is no need of writing what is 8 percentage of 60 lakhs what is 6 percentage of 60 lakhs that is not at all required why because as you are calculating the ratio 
definitely those values will cancel. Why? Because see here, 8 percentage of 60 lakhs and second one is also 6 percentage of 60 lakhs. 60 lakhs is common, it will cancel. 100 is common, that will cancel. So, don't write those values when you are calculating the ratio of any values. In the previous session also, I have already said the same thing. Whenever he is asking about any kind of ratio, don't write this by 100 into something value. That is not required. Definitely those values will cancel. So, directly I am writing research work is 8% and the purchase of books for library that is 6%. So, the required ratio becomes 4 is to 3. You can cancel with uh, 2 table. 2 4 sir, 2 3 sir. 4 is to 3 is the right answer for this question. Option C. Option C. Next question. What is the total sum of uh, expenditure on research work? and uh, purchase of overhead projectors for uh, PhD classes and purchase of books for library together. He is talking about all the values. One is research work. One is uh, projectors for PhD classes. And uh, last one is uh, purchase of books for library. Purchase of books for library. So, first one is research work. Research work is how much percentage? 8 percentage. Next, uh, projectors uh, for PhD classes, 24 percentage. And third one, purchase of books for library, which is 6 percentage. So, add all the values. What you will get is uh, 24 plus 6, 30, 30 plus 8, 38. Uh, 38 percentage. 38 percentage. We need to calculate this value. See here. 38 percentage of 38 percentage of 60 lakhs 38 percentage of 60 lakhs here we need to calculate this value if you observe carefully in the given options we have each and every option is in terms of uh, lakhs only in terms of lakhs so don't uh, take this lakhs as consider you just uh, leave it like that only 38 percentage of 60 lakhs. So, 1 0 will cancel and still you left over with uh, 38 into 6 divided by 10. What I will do is uh, instead of uh, cancelling the denominator, I will just multiply these two. 38 into 6, uh, 8 6 uh, 48, 8 6 uh, 48, 4 is a uh, carry forward and next 3 6, uh, 3 6 are uh, 18, 18 plus 4, 18 plus 4 22. So, 38 into 6 which will give you 228. In the denominator, by 10 is there. In the denominator, by 10 is there. If it is by 10, you need to take it as 22.8. 22.8 lakhs. We are not changing this particular units. 22.8 lakhs. That is the required answer for this question. 22.8 lakhs. Which option? Option B is the right answer. Option B. Next question. See here. Here the question is, uh, which of the following is definitely true? Here, among the given options, uh, we need to identify which option is definitely true. Here, first A, B, C options are there. After that, followed by all are true and uh, followed by none of these. So, first look at... Uh, the first option, ratio between expenditure of university, ratio between expenditure of university for the purchase of library books. Library books, how much? 6% and one more is expenditure on computer library. Computer library is 18. What is the ratio? 1 is to 3. 6 1 sir, 6 3 sir. 1 is to 3 but in this option, it is given as 3 is to 1. So, option A is wrong. Option A is wrong. And similarly, option D also you can cancel. Why? Because uh, in the option D, we have all are true. If 1 is fail, then automatically all are true. That is also false. Now, look at option B. Option B. Expenditure on medical facilities for students. 
medical facility that is 7 percentage what is 7 percentage of uh, 60 lakhs 7 percentage of 60 lakhs which is equal to here 0 0 gets cancelled 7 6 are 42 42 by 10 4.2 lakhs 4.2 lakhs but in this option it is given as 4.6 lakhs so option b also wrong one option b also wrong one and finally we are left over with option c if it is not true definitely you can go with uh, none of this look at uh, option c difference between expenditure on research work and medical facilities research work is 8 percentage research work is 8 percentage whereas medical facilities uh, 7 percentage medical facilities 7 percentage difference between these two which is equal to 1 percentage which is equal to how much 1 percentage what is 1 percentage of 60 lakhs 60 lakhs I am writing the entire value. Why? Because he has given it as uh, 60,000. We will check it out whether it is 60,000 or not. Uh, guys, definitely you must be careful while solving the cancellation part. Why? Because, uh, you know, uh, whenever lakhs, millions and crores, these kind of values are there, number of zeros are very important. Number of zeros. Because of that reason, you must be aware of that particular value here the value is given as 60,000 sometimes he may give 6,000 sometimes he may give 6 lakhs but you must be aware of each and everything see you need to calculate what is one percentage of 60 lakhs one percentage two zeros and two zeros will cancel still you left over with four zeros six followed by four zeros which is 60,000 therefore definitely one percentage of uh, six, uh, 60 lakhs which is uh, 60,000 that is the required answer that is true option C is the right answer option C so you can eliminate uh, option E as well therefore our answer is option C last question in this session if the expenditure on purchase of overhead projectors for PhD students uh, is decreased by 7 percentage for PhD students uh, uh, PhD classes per projectors are 24 percentage right 24 percentage what is 24 percentage of here uh, the values are not given in terms of lakhs so you need to write entire value 60 lakhs 24 percentage of 60 lakhs and next uh, this particular value is decreased by 7 percentage. If it is decreased by 7 percentage, uh, still we left over with uh, 93 percentage only. Actual value is 24 percentage of 60 lakhs, uh, but in this uh, 7 percentage is decreased. So still we left over with only 93 percentage. Now the question is what will be the expenditure on the same after the decrement we need to calculate this value after decrement uh, what is the total expen expenditure spent on uh, projectors uh, for phd classes total how many zeros are there four zeros in the denominator you can cancel uh, four zeros right now you can do the product value see 24 6 are 144 144 here we have two zeros. Here we have two zeros. We can write down at the end. And one more value is 93. Product of these two. You can multiply these two. Here are three fours are 12. And next uh, 12 plus 1, 13. And next uh, 3 plus 1, 4. 9 fours are 36. 3 is a carry forward. 36 plus 3, 39. Again 3 carry. Now 9 ones are 9. 9 plus 3, 12. Now you can add all the values 2, next 9, and next 13, and next 2 plus 1, 3, and this is 1. 1, double 3, 9, 2, and uh, we have two zeros at the end, so you can write down two zeros. Therefore, our required answer is 1, double 3, 9, 2, double 0. That is the required answer. That is the expenditure of uh, expenditure spent on uh, purchase of. Uh, projectors for PhD classes after decrement. 
once look at the options uh, see if you look at the options carefully 13392 the number is starting with uh, 13392 likewise we have two options uh, that is option a and that is option b two options which are starting with 13392 if you are not uh, exactly calculating the number of zeros definitely you will do the mistake here finally we left over with two zeros that is the reason why you need to keep two zeros at the end if you are uh, if you are not good at calculation definitely sometimes there is a chance of uh, doing mistakes these kind of small errors are very important uh, even though after uh, doing all the calculations uh, some people will do the mistake uh, don't do such kind of uh, small errors uh, in examination point of view be careful while solving these kind of problems so the answer is 1339200 which is option b option b is the right answer for this question guys i hope you understand each and every problem in this uh, session and uh, thank you thanks for watching